park, you will have 10 percent less people in your hall. <laughs> so this this Murphy's law is uh, visible here also. So whenever, okay, uh, are we back? Are we back? Okay, uh, this PPT which you are seeing on screen, uh, best participating participant will get it on his or her pen drive. So if you uh, we uh, want this PPT, which is a good PPT, you must have seen so far. It's a very attractive PPT. If you want it on your pen drive, then please participate. There is no test, no slogan, no competition. Those who participate well, I'll ask for the pen drive and give it. Okay. Let's just wait for two or three more people are walking in. I don't know. They were more before I started speaking. Detailing of what we want to do today. And if I get back to the session, first thing we need to understand or discuss about is quality in education and then we move forward. During these half an hour or 45 minutes discussions, I'll be speaking in 15 minutes and remaining time I would like ideas to grow and then we ca catch them. I'll recall one sentence or two sentences. I just uh, was attending one of the CIA conference. Okay. I think I'm loud enough. Am I uh, audible? Good. I'm I will keep it on. So. In that uh, particular conference, one of the uh, past president of CII, while giving his, uh, delivering his lecture or presentation, very important point he said. He said, last three months, do not go far, do not have to go into 2010, 9, 8, 7, last three months have changed the world. Okay. And what he meant, he, he explained it further. What he meant was very simple. Started with one other country, okay, one other country where one vendor was brutally attacked and government did nothing. And then it all spiraled from Libya, Egypt, everywhere almost entire Middle East got woken up that the days of your barbaric behavior are over. Same thing at the end we had agitation all across the country and we had something. How is it related to education? Let us first understand this. And then we'll talk about quality in education. What I'm going to talk in next uh, few minutes is common something, nothing specific, but let's imagine. Whenever mankind started understanding, talking, giving words to his ideas, maybe a couple of thousand years back, he started making some language. started making some language and that language he started conveying from his own perspective or need. Those who are, uh, I am not too good in behavioral, but those who are here professors or lecturers in behavior, they can add on to. So that time that Pashan Yug or that ancient or the stone age man started converting his ideas into language. It could be symbol. It could be uh, any object being shown or converted and thus was formed certain civilizations. These civilizations concentrated their own learnings and future projections in certain books, textbooks which some of you will call Bible, Quran, Upanishad or whatever it is. There is long list, need not discuss and worry about that. The explanation of these books became initial education system. 
Gurukul, where the Guruji was teaching his disciples, maybe you can take examples of Dronachara or anybody, they were all transforming or converting these high value text or books or may not be books form, maybe just unwritten books into explainable material. And the Chhatra, Shishya or whatever will come, will learn, will study, will make use of entire process in his remaining part of life. From the place he leaves the school or Gurukul, he makes use of it. The entire process over a period of centuries or decades now I would say has transformed from unorganized to organized. Although Gurukul was also organized, but then came textbooks, notebooks and then slates and then uh, keep on moving iPads, iPods and every form of tool which is being used to educate. Now, when we talk quality in education, we are to dealing technology and the word quality. Move or change from, from a uh, 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 Tamrapatra study to an iPod study is not the only thing about quality we talk. It is a change in technology. But quality when we are talking, we are talking, we will be talking today is the delivering what was required. Eklavya and all those why they could become so good in their archery just because something required was delivered and people could capture. When we talk about quality in education here, we give all sermons, sorry uh, I am sitting in front of all professors lecturers, so do not misunderstand. We give sermons, we do not get into the core. For us, quality in education could be couple of big books, couple of big uh, shows or whatever, whatever you want to call them. Quality in education which we will be now talking will be involving the student, involving the student getting to know what he wants, or what is the needs of that student and delivering that particular need in a fashion or in a manner that he can make best use of it. Uh, are you with me? Okay. So, quality in education has to be seen from that perspective. I need to uh, first understand who is my student. I need to understand what is the need of my student. I need to deliver as per the need of the student and not that what I want to deliver. Okay. Most of our curriculum or courses are developed sitting in the conference halls of the universities, but those which are developed right at the action point are more. Okay. So, let us understand uh, what we are talking about. We will continue to come back to the initial slides. If I say word quality has no fixed definition, how would you react? Many of you must be taking a session on quality or some chapter in a, any book. Sure, can somebody help me define or understand what is the word quality? Yes, good. Yes. Let us add to this here next. Yes, yes, good. What else is Okay, good, yes. Good. Quality may be setting standards first. Quality is making up the standards and the requirements that come for the development of children or family. Yes. What else? What else is quality? Yes, there must be more. Let us try to build up because then this will be useful for our further discussions. Imagine a four-year child or three-year chi old child comes to you and say, 
Papa or Mama, you are talking quality. What is this word quality? How will you explain? A villager comes to you and uh, wants to admit his son or daughter to your institute and you say our institute is a high quality of education and the, he in his own local language says what is the word quality? How will you explain? Best available. Best available. Best available, okay. Yes. What else? Okay. All these are good words. I am not saying they are not, but I want to add more from your side. What else? Customer expectation. Customer expectation. Yes. Quality in is also about finding out what customer expects and then delivering. Yes. What else? Okay. Yes. Why not? If I eat a good ice cream, I feel happy. I say ice cream is good quality. Yes. Quality is satisfaction, happiness, delight. What else? Okay. You become different. So you become. You can, yes, this also can be used as a benchmark for quality or the to define the quality. May, may not exactly, but yes, what else is quality? Okay, good. Quality is the totality of features and characteristics of a product. Now, in education, what is product and who is the customer? And ma'am, if most respectfully I, I say no, none of these are the true answers, then how will you react? No, 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 no. This is what I want you to think. Why? Yes, ma'am. Somewhat, but not exactly. Then what is degree? If knowledge is a product, then what is degree? Degree is the certificate of the knowledge. Yeah, okay. okay. Degree is a validation of the knowledge which is provided to the students. Okay. Customers are actually very important. Okay. The definition of customer in industrial parlance, more than uh, education uh, parlance, is the one who pays for it. Customer is the person who gets the cash memo or the receipt of the check or DD, whatever. He is the customer. If you go to any consumer forums, only the person in whose name the fridge bill has been cut is the customer, nobody else. If the bill is in my name, my wife cannot go and put a case. She has to go through me to put a case. So who pays the fee? Parents. So who is the customer? And what is the product? I, I might be uh, putting things in a different way only for your uh, uh, reaction or absorption or maybe. Uh, it's not to say that others society society is part of the customer because society pays to parent, parent pays to the school. Where does parent brings money? Parents bring money either from society or for the government or job or factory or wherever. So that money flow is from society, but through parent to the to the institute or school or primary school. So the customer is the parent. And what is the product? What is the product? Yes, one of the major product is the value addition to the student. Now value addition can be in the form of uh, knowledge, skill, attitude, yes, part of the process. It could be the degree, it could be the um, uh, his employability, the job he may get, value system which we give. So, so I think in uh, when we talk about uh, quality in education, we need to understand that who is the customer. And when we talk about customer, referred as a parent to the customer, also expand it to the larger, all stakeholders. 
if we want really the quality word to be incorporated in actual action in education, we need to look at who is my customer and what is the need of my customer. I will give you one example, very basic example. In Rajkot, the industry is about uh, uh, all kind of forging, machining, uh, diesel generators and all. Okay? In Tirpur, south down, the industry is about knitwear, hosiery, garment. If I open in multiples, say multiples of 10, ITIs which can teach hosiery in Rajkot versus I open ITIs which teach machining and metallurgy in Tirpur, what will be the input to society? It will not work because we have to understand the climatic and business conditions of a particular place. Coming back to the long story of the short, quality is what customer wants, what is in the best interest of the customer. Sometime customer does not know what he wants, we give multiple of things, bouquet of things and then say okay out of these 10 things, 8 things you might be wanting or you may not be knowing that you want it. Simple example, you go to the doctor, you do not go and say I want a penicillin injection or I want a, a particular medicine. It is a doctor which sees, examines you okay, and he says you need iron capsules or whatever. So again quality is to be seen from that perspective. If we see quality from that perspective, we will be able to appreciate much faster and what is the you know uh, equation between education and quality or quality in edu education. Yes ma'am. Yes. No. Should I not take that step over there and talk to the entrepreneur? You are absolutely right, but look, let us look at it from a different perspective. Entrepreneur risk I will do, but I will not take the risk of selling umbrellas in Registan when I know it is not going to rain for next 364 days. Yeah. Now, entrepreneur risk has to be understood from the perspective of society at large, the location at large, the place at large. Entrepreneur risk, yes, can be done. Uh, you might be seeing, watching some ads which says that I will bring uh, in a village a boy uh, who's I think he's hero Honda ad or something. He says I'll bring a BPO to my village. So I it's all how you do. So it's how you see the student that what I can make out of the student. Student is a raw diamond. You can cut the way you want. But when we talk about quality in education, we have to understand what fashion, what way. Quality in education here means how you are going to deliver the education to the particular people. So it is no way, if I meant that, please uh, I uh, would like to correct. There is no question of killing ex entrepreneurship, the question of understanding what customer needs. And I also gave you example of doctor that customer does not know that I need a penicillin injection. Customer does not know I need an angiography or angioplasty, whatever. Customer goes and says, I got a chest pain, I got a sweating, I am not. He may say, no, you got just something. Uh, you are not having any heart problem, go back. No, no, I want my open heart surgery to be done. Doctor will say, no. So you have to look at from that. Okay, uh, I will come back to this surely. So when we are talking about quality, it is the totality of features and characteristics of a product. Now product we understood, customer we understood. It is very important part because this will help us build up our uh, TQM for higher education. 
ability to satisfy stated or implied needs. Stated needs, the person goes and says, I got a headache. Implied need could be that uh, uh, I, I want to go and I got a work to do in office and I'm not having comfort with my eyes and my head. So please give me some. There are hundreds of books in your library globally on uh, you if you see so called everybody in his own fashion there's one thing which is common to all is quality is delivering what customer wants customer delight okay are, are we uh, in same wavelength okay good quality in education when we are talking about we are talking about what am I supposed to deliver to my student? What is in the best interest of my student? Uh, how am I delivering to the student? And how am I able to control to make it consistent? Now, consistency is also one other definition of quality. Is part. Uh, correct me if I am not. Uh, okay, imagine you going to McDonald. Imagine. On one fine day, you get a burger which is of 3 inch diameter. On another day, you get 4 inch diameter. On one day, you get 2 inch diameter. And someday, you get this big samosa with haldiram. And someday, you get this small samosa with haldiram. What will you react? What will be your reaction? No, it's not the question of unfair game. We'll say the organization is not consistent with the quality. When I am talking about education, quality in education, my objective is that all my students, you all have more than 40, 50 students in a class. What's your objective? Do you want only 5% to get 100% uh, marks? Your hidden agenda is that all my 45 students should get 100% marks in the university. All of us know it is something not practically possible because there will be difference between student, student and student and the way the student is uh, brought from his uh, home, upbringing, how much pain he is taking, how, what is his intelligence level, how much grey matter he has. But objective of yours is to bring all students to ensure that they all get 100% marks. Now, there it comes a consistency. How consistent you are in delivering what was supposed to be delivered, how consistent students are in getting what was supposed to be taught or trained or you know given to them. Now, when you make yourself, okay, I will assure that my quality will be the required. Okay. We use the word in industry quality assurance. Uh, not, not very long, maybe a couple of decades back, people were not talking quality assurance in uh, management institutes or the schools or hospitals. But look at one example. Uh, I'll just uh, tell you. We'll be talking all that today, but I'm just touching that subject to build up the story further. We all know Kaizen. Some way or other, I am not talking on Kaizen first day, you must have been teaching or studying, right? We all know 5S, we all must have heard the word lean management. No, it is not difficult, I just uh, when we develop things, you will not find difficult. Kaizen is nothing but simply doing everything in an improved way. Okay, uh, 5S is a Japanese term we will be studying today which is related to nothing but what you do every day at your home, housekeeping, now doing housekeeping in office or institute or college or hospital. Okay, uh, Lean management is about doing any activity with the minimum resources deployed plus ensuring not a single resource goes waste. So that's what we'll talk all that. That's what this session is about today. I'm trying to just reach to a particular uh, term. So quality assurance, 
primarily does not end with the industry. So, I was telling you about certain hospitals, colleges, institutes have used it and if you are not uh, unaware of, there is a hospital called Mulchan. Go to the area where uh, staff and those notice boards are there because I have been uh, helping them something and you will find all change boards before and after. Before doing Kaizen, after doing Kaizen. 5S, there is tool called 5S radar. So, outputs on 5S radar. And not today, it's about 7, 8 years back they started that journey. Looking at them, many hospitals have now deployed specific people on quality assurance. Terms may be different, designation may be, it doesn't matter. Now, uh, imagine. DG sub says that tomorrow there will be a person deployed who will be called uh, head quality assurance RDIS. It's not uh, a bad idea, but I'm just saying, look at how much focus we give it. You already have, good. So, uh, but that's what we are talking about. So, quality assurance is defined as all those planned and systematic actions necessary to provide educate, adequate confidence that a product or service will satisfy given requirements for quality means given requirements for quality by the customer. So, which means uh, imagine an institute, say imagine our dice, imagine customer requirement being studied, being listed, being put on a paper also 